everybody. It's been a while. I've been away pretty busy doing other things in my everyday life, but I'm so glad to be back here with you guys to record new makeup tutorials. And today I'm going to be showing you this pumpkin spice inspired makeup tutorial. It's a full tutorial, but um, I focused on the pumpkin spice part right in the eye area. So if you want to learn how I created this look, just continue to watch. So starting off, I'm just going to take some primer and a lot of the products that I do use are bare minerals. And then I'm going to use this um, beauty sponge and I actually did wet it. You want to make sure you use a damp beauty sponge and then I'm going to take my liquid foundation and I'm going to place that all over my face and then I'm going to take a layer of a different foundation which is Fenty Beauty which is a little bit thicker and fuller coverage and I'm just going to place that right over top of the first foundation that I laid down. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take some concealer. This is also by Bare Minerals and it's very lightweight. You wanna make sure that you use a really lightweight concealer. You don't wanna use a concealer too thick because your skin is thinner underneath the eyes. So I use a couple layers of this just to get a little fuller coverage. Again, make sure that your beauty blender is damp. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and take that first foundation, which was the lighter weight foundation, and I'm just going to place that over top of the concealer just to, you know, even it out a little bit, even out the tone. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take um, my eyebrow brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and flick my brows up and then take my liner, eyebrow liner, and I'm gonna go ahead and line underneath the brows just to get it ready for the pomade, which is what I'm adding now. I'm just going to start in the center and drag it out. I'm not really going to put any of the pomade in the inner part of the eyes yet because we want to keep it natural. And then I'm just going to lightly close off the brows. I'm using whatever's left on the brush to go inside of the brow. I'm just going to add some concealer and go ahead and cut that crease, clean it up a little bit. Cut the crease. What the hell am I talking about? Cut the crease. <laughs> we're not cutting the crease. We're cleaning up underneath the brow with concealer just to make sure that it looks nice and clean. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take my beauty blender and just take whatever's left from the concealer and just spread it onto the eyelid. And then I'm going to take a little bit more concealer and just go ahead and clean on the top of the brow. Making a straight line first. I'm not really worried about closing off the brow yet. I'm just worried about, you know, um, dragging that concealer down as far as I can stretch it. You don't want to add too much concealer on the brush. And then I'm just taking whatever's left on the brush. I'm not adding any more pomade and I'm just going to go ahead and close off the brow a little bit more. Bring it in. And as you can tell, you have a little shadow. It looks like, almost like a unibrow, but that's good because it's going to give it that nice fade to where the brow looks a little more natural. And then what you can do is go ahead and clean up any excess concealer and then go ahead and use like hair like strokes to kind of fill in the inner part of the brow. And then once I'm done with that, I'll just go ahead and add a little bit more pomade and focus on the outer part of the brow just to give it a little depth on the outer part of the brow. We're not adding any on the inner because like I said, you want to keep that fade. And what I'm doing now is I'm opening the brow with um, any excess concealer that's on the concealer brush. And if you have a harsh line, go ahead and flick out. That's what I'm doing now. If you notice that there's a harsh line. 
And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and set my face with um, a setting spray. And then I'm just going to use my beauty blender and just go ahead and set any um, liquid foundation and concealer into my face before we go ahead and start contouring. So what I'm gonna do is use a cream contour and um, go ahead and add lines right below the cheekbone in an upward direction. And I'm gonna take this nice kabuki brush and I'm gonna go ahead and blend. And then as you can see, there's a shadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and add our um, lighter color and we're gonna go ahead and place that on the nose and around the cheekbones. This is just gonna give your face some structure. So you just wanna go ahead and add that on the higher points of your cheeks and on your nose area, anywhere you would like to highlight. Some people do chin, some people do forehead, I don't, but it's up to you. And then we're gonna take a small brush and go ahead and contour um, around the nose with a darker cream contour. You wanna use a fairly small brush because you don't want to add too much um, of that product around your nose because it's going to look very very dramatic so we want to keep it nice and natural so use the smaller brush the better now we're going to go ahead and flick out so that way you'll get a nice natural line And then we're gonna go ahead and use our setting powder. I'm gonna use that same beauty sponge and go ahead and pack that powder underneath of the eyes just to set them. Now you can set your um, contour if you want. I normally don't, but if you would like to, you can. And then I'm just gonna take my finger and just start blending out the deeper contour of the nose with my finger just so it's not so harsh. And we are going to set our contour with a powder also. And you can also set around the mouth area too, especially if you crease. And then I'm going to just take this um, foundation powder, and it is by MAC. I'm just going to go ahead and put that all over my face. I did put a foundation, liquid foundation all over my face, so we're just gonna set everything with this powder. I absolutely love this powder. It just makes my face look so smooth and seamless. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this um, highlight and I'm going to just highlight any points of my face that I want to stand out, which is normally my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, and my cheekbones. Some people go heavy with their <laughs> highlight. They, you know, go around the collarbone. I don't really put, you know, highlight on my collarbone. I always just focus on my face. And I normally add a little bit more on my cheeks. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild highlight because, I mean, this highlight is so good. It's only $4, but it really, really, really gives you a really nice um, effect, a color payoff. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take my um, powdered contour and go right over top and use another brush and use that same powder contour to go around the bridge of my nose, anywhere that we added the cream contour. And then you wanna take a clean brush with nothing on it and you just want to blend out those harsh lines. And then I lost my other, <laughs> I lost my other um, blush, so I'm using an eyeshadow, something close to what I had. But I'm just gonna go ahead and um, clean up those harsh lines with my foundation brush. Starting with eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and take my first tone, and I'm just going to keep that color right below the brow bone. And then I'm gonna take my orange, which is like a burnt orange, and just lightly pat that on. And 
And then I'm going to go ahead into our next tone, which is a little deeper. We're just going to keep that right in the crease. You can use circular motions and just blend that out until it's nice and seamless. And then we're going to go ahead and take our orange and we're just going to place that all over the lid. Anywhere that we added color, we're going to take that because that's going to give it that nice pumpkin look on the eye. So you want to just place that all over the lid. Then we're going to take black and we're just going to focus on the outer corner and like a V shape. And you want to make sure that your hand is nice. Use a nice light hand. You don't want to pack it on too heavy because you don't want this black to be too, too deep. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to um, drag the black into the crease a little bit. But you want to focus on the outer corner first and just go ahead and drag it into the crease. back into that orange and we're just going to blend that black in and we're going to just want to bring that orange you really want to see that orange so just add as much as you think you need until you see the color pay off Then we're going to go into our next color, which is a nice shimmery rose gold color. And we're just going to keep that right on the lid. And then we're going to go ahead and line our um, lash line with a liquid liner. I always make a straight line first and then I make another line underneath of that to create that nice sharp look. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> I'm about to do it. See how I connect that bottom with the top? That's what's going to make that nice sharp line. And then we're going to go ahead and take our orange again and go ahead and smoke out the lash line. So we're just going to take the bright orange and go ahead and smear that on. And once that's done, you're going to go ahead and take the um, brown. I'll show you what brown. I'm, I'm really packing this orange on. <laughs> but after you pack the orange on, you want to take this brown right here. And you want to go ahead and add that right over top of it. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my Jeffree Star. It's actually called Drug Lord and it's white. It's actually a lipstick, but it's good for the eye. I'm just going to open up my eyes a little bit and I'm going to add that to the waterline. Then I'm going to take my lashes and go ahead and apply those. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my favorite, which is my false moles. I don't know why I love doing this. I just think it looks very, very pretty. Um, I'm just going to add the moles. And once I do that, we're going to move on to lashes. So I'm going to take a little bit of mascara. And you don't want to put the mascara on the white. You want to keep it right below. And I'm going to take my um, lip liner, line my lips first, and then take my favorite lipstick by Jeffree Star. I will be shouting him out a lot because I love his lipsticks. And it's called, um, what is it called? I'm Nude. And then I'm just set it, setting my face and that's about it. 
Thanks guys for watching this video. I'm so excited to be back. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to comment. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. I have so many more looks coming up and I can't wait for you guys to see them. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.